Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Your Mark on the World show. I'm your host, Devin Thorpe, and today's show is being produced for Forbes, where I'm a contributor covering social entrepreneurship and impact investing, and I'm thrilled to have with us today Beneficial State Bank CEO, Kat Taylor. Kat, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's nice to talk to you again, Devin. Well, thank you so much. It's fun to have you back. You know, your bank has been doing remarkable things. The the history, the foundation, the substance of the bank, really remarkable. Uh, I, I think of it as being remarkable for two reasons. One, the, the activities of the bank, the social mission of the bank, and its ownership structure. Can you remind us a little bit about uh, the social mission, the objectives of the bank, and that ownership structure that's rather unique? Sure. You're very kind to refer to us that way. We're a small actor in the banking landscape, but we're trying to suggest a new beneficial way to do banking and it is contingent upon three elements of our structure and DNA if you will. The first um, and most unique possibly is our ownership. A hundred percent of our economic rights belongs to our foundation. That means if and when profits are distributed they can only be given to that foundation which is the public charity governed by public representation and that, that foundation is mandated by its bylaws to reinvest any profits in the low-income communities that we serve and the environment upon which we depend. We think this creates a virtuous cycle of reinvestment in the very communities uh, and nature who we're trying to support through our model. We are a triple bottom line bank trying to produce social justice and environmental well-being at the same time that we're financially sustainable and our second area of practice is what helps us actually achieve that and that's our lending practice. So as you may recall at any point 75% of our loan dollars outstanding in the hands of transformative actors, businesses, nonprofits, agencies who are producing that triple bottom line themselves so those tend to be businesses or nonprofits in affordable housing, renewable energy, sustainable food and ag, uh, the nonprofit sector itself, women and minority owned businesses, social purpose companies, etc. Uh, the other 25% of the loan dollars, we work very hard not to be doing something confirmation. We don't want to work really hard with 75% of our lending power and undo it with the other 25%. And we measure that assiduously every quarter we post those results. Soon, at the end of this year, we'll have 18 to 24 new metrics to add to that uh, evaluation, which will be outcome oriented so we can tell you how many renewable kilowatts we financed or how many living jobs our lending created. Then the third area of the bank that helps us stick to that triple bottom line is an assiduous process of self-examination. Those of you in the B Corporation world will recognize uh, that in the GEARS assessment um, tool that you fill out every other year, over 200 questions that get at our corporate practices process of self-examination that keeps us um, aware of where we can uh, improve and uh, aware of where we need to double our investment because we're seeing results. We also are a CDFI, which stands for a Community Development Financial Institution. That's a designation of treasuries and we have to report on that annually and recertify every three years. We belong to the Global Alliance for Banking on Values, which keeps us in global company of other social purpose and environmental banks. And then we also carry the Just label, a food style label that reports out in a very transparent way about our policies, procedures, and practices in social justice, things like ethnic and gender diversity, labor practices, animal welfare, etc. So it's really those three things, ownership, lending practice, and self-examination that we think will create a beneficial model that stays its course. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, Kat, the, the bank has a, a, a a growing history. There have been a number of mergers and all kinds of things and so the, the name of the bank has been evolving and you're completely rebranding now. Can you walk us through that history and the strategy behind your rebranding effort? Sure. Thank you for the opportunity to do that because we really need to raise the visibility under the new name. 
We were born in 2007 as one California bank. The name was meant to be referential to we're all in one boat. We all live in one California. We need to pull together to achieve all these good outcomes. We thought we would stay in California, but early in our career, because of the downturn, some, some of the most pioneering social justice banks um, became troubled from their lack of capital. Uh, South Shore Bank in Chicago, a revered bank who did 30 years of fantastic work, was one of them. They had a subsidiary bank on the West Coast called Shore Bank Pacific, operating in Oregon and Washington. Um, and we didn't want to see that really treasured colleague bank uh, go down with the parent. So we provided the capital to recapitalize the subsidiary, bought the bank, and merged our two banks. Once we had a footprint that included the three West Coast states, it was no longer appropriate to be called one California bank. So uh, in the heat of the moment, we picked sort of a placeholder, one Pacific Coast bank, knowing that it didn't do justice to the mission um, or the triple bottom line of the bank. It's not demonstrative of what we're trying to do. Uh, so we reserve time in our future to go through a proper rebranding. We've just come through that, and on July 21st, we announced our new name, which is Beneficial State Bank. The foundation is now called Beneficial State Foundation. And we have always loved the term beneficial. We use welcome to beneficial banking throughout our history. We think uh, it implies that we're trying to create benefits for all, harm to no one. It's also a double entendre. Um, we have recently changed our charter to become a state bank. We're regulated by California, but with reciprocal arrangements in Oregon and Washington. We think that it's actually allowing us to be more responsive and locally accountable as a state bank, but it also harkens to a state of mind or a state of being. Uh, and then our tagline now is uh, build something beautiful. We enable others to be the heroes in our world and um, help them build something beautiful in their own vision. Uh, we use the term beautiful to connote balanced, well-being, good for all. We think that human beings are highly attuned to beauty as an indicator of that. And finally, our new logo is an acorn, and acorn is a, a historic symbol of savings. It's what the squirrel tucks away. Uh, it's also a, a referential to from tiny acorns, mighty oaks grow, and those oaks do grow throughout our three-state region and a faint nod to our beloved Oakland, which was our origin city uh, and our, the city of our headquarters. Uh, as Ma Ron Dellums used to say, the potential model city of the United States, and we do believe that. But it was called Oakland originally for a reason. So our acorn um, covers a, a variety of bases for us. Kat, I wonder if you would take a minute and step back a little bit from the bank and the branding exercise and tell me, tell us, tell everyone why it is that you personally feel strongly about this. Why are you doing this instead of something else? Sorry, Devin, the second half of your question disappeared into a little... I apologize for that. Kat, I'm wondering why you chose to do this and not something else. Um, well, it's a good question because my heart's desire also lies in sustainable ranching and someday I hope to get back to that. But I think about 15 years ago my husband and I decided that um, we wanted to take a very active role in philanthropy and assume operating roles, not give capital to other agents who would decide what to do with it, but really um, get in the driver's seat. Partly because it's fun to be fully engaged, um, but it also gives you the unique insights of somebody trying to operate a business. And so I think from that philosophical point, we got nothing but more involved in the institutions that we were trying to create toward the ends of good money, good food, and good energy. Um, why good money and why banking in particular? If you think about um, any of the practices in the world that we need to change, they're all enabled 
and amplified by finance. Finance and the banking system in particular is what amplifies the whole money supply and facilitates commerce. It's what allows growth. Um, and when we get it right, it's very, very good. And when we get it wrong, it's very, very bad. So it seemed particularly important to us to suggest a way of banking that would actually be beneficial. Well, fantastic. Kat, where can people find you? Where can they learn more about what your bank is doing? Where can they find a list of branches? How can they engage with you? Sure. We are light on branches uh, for our ecological footprint objectives. Uh, and we are going to be more robust in our website soon. So our branches are in Seattle, Portland, Oakland, a loan production office in Sacramento, and we hope to go to Southern California soon. Our branch in Ilwaco is closing. Ilwaco is at the mouth of the Columbia River. It's a very critical region to us from a natural resource standpoint and for strengthening rural communities but we're trading in our branch for a, a more rigorous lending practice. Um, and our website, our new website is www.beneficialstate.com, spelled just the way you would. We were light on website before because we knew we would be rebranding, but we're trying to populate the site now with more and more information about the bank's activities, its evaluation metrics. There's a new CEO letter up. Um, just going up today. The annual report for 2013 is there uh, and soon we will be populating the website with more and more profiles of our borrowers and depositors because they're the actors who are really getting this work done. Terrific, terrific. Well Kat, thank you again for joining us today. It's a pleasure to catch up and I congratulate you on your success and on the rebranding and wish you luck in all of your efforts to make a difference in the world. Thank you very much. Thanks. This is a great opportunity for us, Evan. All righty. Let's do some good. <laughs> Take care.